Ah, I'm here to talk about Laksh. <laughs> Twenty years ago, uh, this film that we had done, I was I was very young. I was I was uh, hardly an actor, and uh, Farhan was a friend who had suddenly become like this incredible mind. I saw his first film. I was like. How has this person made this film? How? Where did he get the uh, the courage or the knowledge or the information or the how? And he had written this beautiful, beautiful script, and more than the story and more than uh, the the big cause, uh, it was the character of Karan Sherigal that uh, was was me. I don't know. what made farhan cast me uh but perhaps you know that director's mind could see through and understand a person's countenance and and know that this this human has been through certain things that uh is going to make him the perfect cast for this film i genuinely do feel uh at that particular point of time i definitely hands down was the perfect human not the actor but the perfect human to be cast in this film laksh because i had been through all those experiences in very very similar ways um karan shergal was me i did not need to do much uh the naivety the the spontaneity the anger the uh the you know being on that cusp of of maturity learning the ways being completely confused and dumbfounded as to what am i going to do in my life not having any avenues that that looked any looked hopeful um i went through that crossroad so greatly and so intensely in my life that it just it just came naturally uh, to me karan shergal was was a joy to uh, to enact uh, to perform to be it was just such an incredible incredible and incredibly difficult uh journey for me it was the first film that i did sing sound and uh it did not help my my mind with my stutter at all <laughs> the silence was was deafening the silence was traumatizing on set uh my first sing sound film up until then you know you could uh, you could hide behind the noise and now it was uh, a very very uh, courageous time i must say I must give myself a pat on the back um really worked hard really gave it my all prayed a lot <laughs> uh rehearsed and practiced a lot um really enjoyed so many so many aspects of this film i um main aisa kyu the song i think that song by itself is uh, a journey and a story by itself uh the way farhan has conceptualized that song uh the the finesse of that song I, actually that the, the finesse is farhan uh farhan is just he's so precise and he's so um you know i'm supposed to be a perfectionist but when i see farhan uh by the way i don't think being a perfectionist is a compliment as such uh i just see it as something that uh someone aspires uh and sees you know in his mind so clearly that that he wants it exactly uh that that way uh but over the years i have also learned that uh uh you know perfectionist uh, does not mean that you need to get it right you know uh being being a perfectionist is 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 trying to create something on the outside that you're seeing very clearly on the inside and i think that's what farhan uh, is so his finesse on every single frame of that film was was so it was so satisfying to watch when i used to see the frames of laksh it used to be satisfying because the the symmetry or the the cleanliness of the lines and the the tehrav of each frame was so soothing yeah was so soothing um and and such a difficult difficult uh, film for farhan to make 
but uh, I was talking about uh, Mahesh Akyu. Prabhu Deva came in and gave me steps that I thought were impossible to do, but he also gave me a tutor, a teacher and time. He gave me two months. So uh, Farhan, uh, you know, did a genius uh, move. He choreographed that song much before we shot it, two, three months before. I could see what I had to do. Uh, the main steps were shown to me and then Prabhu Deva had uh, sent me a, uh, a teacher uh, who then worked with me for two months while I was shooting for other scenes in Laksh in Delhi. Every evening I used to come back and you know do a little bit of that dance. And uh, that's, that's how, how you know perfection, perfection was uh, achieved, uh, I guess. I'm not saying it was perfect, but you know what, you, you know what I mean. Uh, Prabhu Deva's vision, Farhan's vision, my effort and my practice, everything came together and, and it became something of uh, some value. Uh, just such a joy and so full of gratitude that I got to work with people who knew what they were doing when I did not. I had no idea, I was just following instructions. Uh, and one of the main instructions, the most beautiful instruction that I got from Farhan. By the way, Laksh has been a turning point in my film as well as, as an actor because here I was working with a director for the first time in my life who told me to ignore the camera. I, I uh, so clearly remember this one scene that I was doing where I was uh, at the bar and uh, I was speaking to Preeti on the phone uh, and uh, the camera was you know, placed at a particular point and I asked Farhan, Farhan, do you want, do you want me to face a little bit like this? so that you know you can see my eyes because the way I'm talking in your camera there, I don't think uh, the camera is going to see my eyes. And he said, Rithik, you, the camera is my job. You just, you feel free. Just, you know, do what you need to do. He almost said it uh, uh, admonishingly a little, a little bit. Because uh, I, I remember he was like, hey, why are you bothered about the camera? The camera is my job. You do your job, you do you. I will make sure the camera sees you uh, in the best possible way. So, you know, it took me aback a little bit, but also it lit up something in my brain. I was like, whoa, that means what he's actually asking me to be is free. And that should be such a source of joy for an actor to like, just be free. Okay, I want to turn here and I want to say it here. You know, uh, I don't want to look there. I, I don't want to do this. I. I'm, I'm free, my, you know, free will as an actor, amazing. I had never worked with someone uh, who told me to be free. Before the scene uh, was shot, actors came in. Now this was all, this is all normal now, but at that point of time, this was new. This was uh, new. Uh, this was a new school of thought, a new school of, of directing actors, uh, at least for me. I, I had not seen something like this play out. Uh, you know, uh, in my life up until then, actors were brought in and they were asked, what, would, what do you want to do? <laughs> so I was like, what? You tell me what you want, to, want me to do. You're the director. I didn't say that, but you, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I was like, okay, you know, would you like to, you know, walk? Would you like to like sit here? What do you want to do? And I was like, whoa, wow. Um, so that was so, so new. Uh, and I remember one more thing I asked Farhan once, you know, found a very, very uh, 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 I found a very silent moment between Farhan and I and because I because I wanted my question to to carry weight and I asked him, Farhan, how do you want me to play this character? How do you see me? Do you have any references? Do you have any other actors and other films that I can watch. And he said, with equal amount of weight in his words, he said, I want you to just be you. You just be you. I had no idea what that meant because I didn't know how to be me. I just, it, uh, it threw me into, uh, into, into, uh, into chaos in my head. It's like, how do I find me? 
I don't even know me. Damn. Wow. What do I do? No, no references because that would make my life so easy. I can just, you know, I can, I can, I can embody that. I can embody that. Are you saying I have to embody me? <laughs> you know, I don't even know what me is. And that's when it struck me that that is what I need to play in this film. I need to play not knowing because that is me. And I said, oh, that's going to be so hard, you know, to, to not know and then use the not knowing and say my lines. Oh, my God, my, my, my hair is uh, uh, standing on ends. Um, because I, I remember that moment so clearly, it, it, it threw me into such deep fright and such deep excitement at the same time. I was like, I want to do this, but I, I don't know how, but it's, it's, going, to, it's going to be so exciting. Wow. Um, so thank you, uh, Farhan, for that. And uh, thank you, Ritesh, for making this film. Um, such a difficult film to shoot. Uh, so many of us in Ladakh, uh, minus 17, minus 15, sometimes minus 25, you know, shooting nights, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., packing up and I could see Farhan going through, you know, this uh, uh, catharsis of, of uh, you know, having to build this really tough exterior and ha having to be really hard on every single person because he was being hard on himself as well and he made it that out to ev everyone else it was uh, it was the way the only way it was the only way and uh, he was a very very hard uh, taskmaster uh, when he was on set and uh, of course his usual you know uh, jovial fun self uh, when not on set so it was like dealing with a uh, almost a split personality and but it made sense it made sense it taught me that you know that's that's the that's the 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 uniform you know the soldier's uniform that that uh, that you have to wear if you're up against a challenge like this and he did it incredibly well and then I also saw him you know break that through the film and get get accustomed to the hardship and I, I saw that growth in him and it was, it, was, uh, it was very inspiring to see. It was very, very inspiring. I love the way that how, how Ritesh, uh, you know, supported Farhan through, through the making of the film. Um, it was uh, truly an incredible journey for me. Um, incredible that 20 years, in 20 years, I think Laksh and the glory of Laksh, perhaps even the glory that it didn't see when it was actually released uh, in 2004. Um, over 20 years, it has just, you know, become this giant. It's become like a, you know, such an identifiable, relatable, uh, it's become everyone's film. I've heard so much, so much uh, chatter and, and uh, discussions and, so many narratives have happened because of uh, Laksh that I truly think that, uh, you know, it's, it's a film that was destined to be. Uh, it, ha it has gone a long way in changing people's lives and livelihoods as well. <laughs> um, so I'm just, I'm just full of gratitude that this film happened in my life and that I got a chance to grow uh, via this uh, film and via these people that I worked with. So thankful. Uh, so thank you and uh, congratulations to the team of Laksh on its re-release after 20 years. It's a, a memory that uh, I hold very, very dear to my heart. And uh, thank you to PVR Inox where it's going to uh, be seen again on the big screen. I can't wait to watch it uh, with all of you. Uh, congratulations to us again and uh, thank you.